Hey! Guess what time it is? What time is it? It's, it's Mario 3 time. Oh, I'm Super Mario so 3 time. I'm so thrilled. All right, it's Kino and Nick. This is the first VGUI we've done in months. We've been on hiatus from VGUI. I think the last VGUI was me and Alps on Spyro. Mm -hmm. Or was it me and you on uh, Mega Man? One of the two. I don't know. I don't know. This is going to be great. It was one of them. Two player. Two Future players. Kino. Future Kino. Both of our names. Uh, um, me on the left. Nick on the right. Put a little Mario hat next to my name. And put a little Luigi hat next to Mick's name. And then drink counters are at one. We are on our first drink. Yes. And we're going to do this shit. We're going to be the, 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 the Mario twins. The Mario brothers. The Mario twins. <laughs> the twins. The twins, oh, the Basil. The twins. You know the twins? Like my evil twin? <laughs> oh my god. So. Okay. 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 No. No, but okay. We have to talk about my evil twin, Tito. We're really. Okay, so. I don't know why. It was kind of quiet. We dropped off my friend at the train station, right? And. It was just kind of quiet. Me and Kino were just like enjoying the night air, coming back from the train station. <laughs> Stopped at the liquor store, got a couple of things. I built up my pee. And for some odd reason, we. I don't. I think it was because we were talking about. Um, we were talking about double mint gum. No, I want it! Yes, double mint gum. That's what it was. And. <laughs> and for some odd reason, Kino said something no about. No gun! Motherfucker! That too. Um, that he, <laughs> it was his evil twin for some <laughs> odd reason. And of course, my brain just goes on a complete tangent. So we decided that my evil twin, his name is Tito. <laughs> I, <laughs> I am Tito and I have an evil twin named Tito. And, <laughs> and, he's, and he's a tranny. He's a transvestite. A very flamboyant, a very flamboyant transvestite. transvestite. Tramboyant. Tram. Oh my god. <laughs> How do I get? God damn! No, is it is it this level? I'm trying to figure out where the white the white block is that I can go behind. Maybe oh, not this level. That... Is it over here? Oh no! It's or am I not? Level. Or no. am I just? No. The the go go go. You got the P. But I think that's it. I got coins. And then you can fly to the thingamajig. No, I already flew to the thingamajig. Oh, you flew to the thingamajig. Okay. Kabam! Star! Boom! Mm. So we're talking. <laughs> We are talking about how my my evil twin Tito is a transvestite, super flamboyant, and like, <laughs> what did you say his what did you say his drag queen name is? <laughs> Dee Dee Von Tito. <laughs> so I decided. Whenever I get drunk and do something stupid <coughs> that people ask me about the next day, like, oh my god, you were so drunk, you did such and such and such and such, I'll be like, no, that was my evil transvestite twin brother, Tito. Yeah. That wasn't Kino, that was Tito. That was Tito. That was... Tito did it. <laughs> Tito did it. Tito fucking did like, it. And it's like, we'd always be, like, trying to avoid Tito, because, like, he would just embarrass us in public, because he's <laughs> just so out there. And like we'd try to avoid him, but he would like follow us wherever we'd go. We'd go like the we'd go like to the karaoke bar, and he would just like show up behind us, like I'm here. <laughs> and it's like, dude, Tito, we know you're right in my ear, dude. Why are you shouting in my ear like that? He's like, I'm queer. I'm in your ear. Get used to it. <laughs> Stop! My face hurts. Stop it. That's what she said. <laughs> Oh my! <laughs> Her face hurts. That's, that's pretty personal. Oh my god! Yay! Oh, uh, yeah, that was that was that was fun. Well, I had I, I tell I told you um this past Friday night I had a um, I had a I had a random a random sexual encounter. It wasn't <laughs> it wasn't like random like I knew the girl, but like I'm. I'm just, I'm like laying around in my room and I'm thinking about going like to the bar that we usually go to around here. Like I'm friends with the owner, Jessica, and they were doing like live bands and stuff. And she was like, come out, I'll buy you a shot. Come hang out. Uh, my, my girlfriends from Zumba are going to be there. You can chat them up. I'm like, okay. Um, it's like 6 PM and I'm like laying, I'm like laying in my room and this girl I know, uh, is texting me and she's talking about how she doesn't have anything to do that night. And like, 
she's like, yeah, I'm, I've got a bottle of, I got a bottle of Jameson. I'm probably just gonna hang out at home by myself, drink my bottle of Jameson, and watch a movie all by myself. Like really stressing, like I'm, I'm, I'm just all by myself and all oh, darn alone. Darn it! So I finally, I, I called her out. I'm like, I'm like, are you, I'm like, are you trying to like? Okay. I'm like, are you trying to like tempt me into going over there? She's like, maybe. I'm like, okay, fuck it, I'm out. <laughs> and as I said to you, I walk through the living room and Mick is up in the loft. And I walk just through randomly. The... I hadn't seen you for a couple hours <laughs> I was either. Just like, in my room. yeah. And like, I walk through the living room and I just yell up to Mick in the loft. Okay, so there's a scantily clad woman with a bottle of Jameson inviting me over to her house. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Remember, I had to. I was like. Wait, what? Hold on, wait, what? And then I had to get up and, like, lean over the, the, the thing just for you to repeat it. Yeah, you were I, like, what did I, you just say? <laughs> I, I wanted to make there sure I heard you correctly. Are we using warp whistles? No, but I, I still want to get it just because it's cool. We're not using warp whistles. Because, because it's Just cool, because it's huh? cool. Just because I want to, you know. Because you can? Just because I can. Yeah. We're never going to use it. <laughs> We will never use, we're not like, using warp whistles this run. Like, ooh, wow, look how cool that is. Even though we're not doing anything at all with it. But if we were going on our original uh, idea, we were going to do this competitively. Yes. And we were going to give each other a certain amount of points uh, for cards flipped over on the board. Um, certain points for beating the fortress, certain points for beating the airship, and certain bonus points if you found a warp whistle, because there's several to find. And then we realized that we, we would start it that way, and we would be keep keeping track of the score, but we'd quickly not give a shit anymore. Quickly. And we figured we'll just do it co-op. Fuck it. it why? Why? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so proud of you. They're like, why why mix VGY and battle mode? We'll just do this co-op and just try to beat this game. And that way it's a lot less like us sitting here fucking with each other. We can actually talk about shit like... Like my like my evil twin Tito, and and your random sexual encounters. and my encounters. random sexual encounters. <laughs> oh man, that was a that was a fun night. We we actually did like Netflix and chill. Nice. Cause she had like she had oh fuck you fucking one up mushroom. <laughs> cause I was joking. Cause I always joke like I hate like the whole Netflix and chill shit. Like I think people are stupid, and like. I was laughing because that's basically what I ended up doing Friday night was Netflix and chill with a chick. And I was like, I was like, oh my God, I've become one of those people that I fucking hate. <laughs> but she and I never said those words. Like she never said, come hate? on over. She never said, you know, come on over for Netflix and chill. Like it was just, I have a bottle of Jameson and I'm in a tank top and panties. Uh, get over here. Um, <laughs> which is a lot more straightforward and I like that a lot better. Um, Makes sense. But yeah, like we were sitting there like watching Walking Dead because this is this is the week before the season premiere comes on. So me and her were sitting there like getting all amped up and like excited for the new season to start. And then, you know, because zombies eating people's faces off is so hot, one thing led to another. <laughs> you know, you know, like you do when you, when you watch zombies eat people's faces, you just fucking get all worked up, you know? Yes. It's just... Some people have weird fetishes. Don't judge me. <laughs> Does Toad there have a weight problem? I don't know. The Toad in this game was weird. It looks like he's wearing suspenders. Oh. Uh, okay. We'll, we'll have to look at it the next time. That, See, you got all hot. three. That should get you something. That's hot. <laughs> you got all three different ones. That should get you a prize. That's fucking hot. I know I shouldn't have done that, but I don't give a crap. Hey, dude, it's a fortress. And we haven't played this game in a long time. I haven't played this game in fucking, like, at least a decade. Oh, like, I, I Mario even... 3 to me is, like, I remember certain things, but I forget a lot of things. Like, I forget what order the worlds are in and all kinds of shit. Like, not like Mario World. Like, I knew Mario World. Yeah. Because well, we I played that, that a lot more often. Yeah. And, like, I speedrun Mario World. Yeah. And I want to do that on the channel at some point. I, I just want to do my quick, uh, no, no glitch, no tool-assisted Nothing like that speed run. Because oh, look at we, you. Because we can. Look at you, you sneaky bitch. I know, right? Oh! Yay, another thing Now we both got use. one that we're going to have to make sure we don't use when we're drunk. Oh, that's right. Yeah, it kills the it kills the fortress. Well, no, I mean, yeah, that's right. We have to, we have to make sure we don't it. use it. Yes. Fuck you! <laughs> 
No, I like my I like my raccoon tail. I like being the keen. The keen. The keen and friends. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, like I hate that like Netflix and chill shit. Like that shit pisses me off. It's like, well, I just think, ask I think someone it depends. out. I think it depends because, like for me, I don't mind like if a if a date would be Netflix and chill. If but you're dating somebody, it, de- it de- well, like it, if you're actually like with them. Like that's the thing that bugs me. Is like casually guys will like be like, hey babe, come on over for some Netflix and chill. It's like, are you actually like going out with her? Like, have you actually have you actually taken the effort to take her out at all yet? It's like I wouldn't do Netflix and chill as a first date. Okay. Like I that's see. just I see. What that's you mean. just basically saying I don't want to go to the effort of taking you out somewhere. I just want you to come over here and fuck you. That's basically all that's saying. Okay, I see. That's what where I kind of get a little like even even the girl um from Friday night that I I that I went and was with like she and I have gone out and done like karaoke and stuff. We have a rapport. We you know, we actually like each other. We've done things together. Right. So it wasn't just like, you know, random booty call type shit. It kind of was, but... <laughs> it kind of was. It kind of wasn't. It kind of was. It was the first time we'd actually done that, but it wasn't like, you know... <clears throat> it wasn't like, oh, we met one night and we barely know each other. Come on over and let's do it. It was like, we've actually gone out and done things together. Right. So it was like... But that, I hate that, like... And nobody asks anybody out anymore. No, that's like, why like, you it's don't, so weird. Nobody asks, like, no guy asks a girl, do you want to, like, go, do you want to go out to dinner? Do you want to go out on a date? I'll pick you up like, at seven. Yeah. Nobody... Do you ever hear that anymore? No. I'll pick you up at eight. I'll pick you up at seven. Never. Well, you know, Never. and that, you know what? Picking, picking a girl up, I mean, I can, I, I don't really have too many qualms about that at this point, just because of, like, you know, uh, the day, the day and age it is, because, like, you know. That that's very like old fashioned. Like that's extremely old fashioned. Yeah. Well, I and mean, like, not, you know, not necessarily that I want to hear that specifically, but I guess the the context. Yeah. Of, let's of let's it, go like, out. Let's go have dinner and see a movie or something like that. No, yeah. nobody does that. It's yeah. just all about let's meet at a bar, or go home and fuck. Which I mean is fine sometimes, but like that is all that happens now. It's like. It's yeah. so weird to and hear people somebody get in relationships off of off that. Off of that, off and then they that. wonder why their relationships don't last. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, that's the it's thing. It's like, <clears> you <throat> wonder why your relationship don't last. You never took your girlfriend out on a date. You barely know each other. All you know is what your genitals look like. That's about it. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, that's it. What's your favorite color? Oh, you're going to go, uh, you're going to go beat, uh, the Koopaling. Yeah. Oh, wait. <sighs> get the if I, beat, if I beat that... You gotta get the Toad House first. Okay. I was gonna say, because it's... Okay. The Toad House doesn't take a turn. Well, I was gonna say... If Dude, I it's beat... gonna be one episode and we're gonna <clears throat> beat the first world. That's fucking great. That's wonderful. I don't want that. I don't know how in this episode we went from talking about my 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 tranny evil twin brother Tito uh, to my Friday night booty call to how much we hate uh, modern date culture. <laughs> Um, we, 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 we cover a variety of topics here on Musical Nerds. Yes. I mean, I... It's it's definitely uh, spontaneous. Yeah. Spontaneity is our middle name. Well, and you and I haven't done this in a while, so you and I... You and I have a lot of shit that we haven't... Like, you and I haven't done this in a while, so we're not... Me and, me and Matt, we, we've actually taken a <clears throat> few weeks off of recording because we kind of just got burnt out. Because it was right. just me and Matt and recording four series at a time... We just, we had nothing. We were like, the last time me and Matt recorded, we had the Jimboree thing <laughs> in Skyward Sword, and that was about it. Like, other than that, we were just bitching at Skyward Sword, as we do. But it's like, we needed a good break to actually, like, not, to, so we actually, like, have material when we come back, because we have, like, nothing to talk about at this point. Right. It's like, me and you, me and you haven't done this in a while, so there's a lot of shit that me and you haven't covered. Yeah. Oh. Good! Stare at it so it shoots you in the face! Yeah. <laughs> shoot me in the face, please. Just shoot me in the face. Luigi wants them balls in his face. Yeah. Well, yeah, duh. I mean, him and Toad, yeah, I mean, you know, stuff happens. Oh, dude, you almost, like... Oh. That was still damn good, though. That was still damn good, though. The first time we played this game in God knows how long, and you fucking you beat his ass. That was good. That was some good shit. Kind of sucked. I was that like, I lost the fire flower and my big, but whatever. Well, yeah, but you kind of shot through that damn airship, like you. 
And the only reason you lost the fireball is because for some reason you decided to stare at the cannon. <laughs> well, I figured if I wanted to make sure that we had enough oomph in this episode, you know what I mean? Yeah, and Luigi taking a cannonball to the face, that's that's oomph. Yeah. <laughs> that's oomph. It is. It definitely um, is. So you get the P-Wing. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, wait. Greetings. If you see any ghosts, be careful. They will give chase if you turn away. I've enclosed a jewel that helps protect you. Princess Toadstool. Peach. I was trying my damnedest not to make her Skyward Sword Zelda. I noticed. Like, it was so hard that. for me not to be like, If you get in trouble, there's a jewel in class! Like, it was so... I was like, okay, Peach cannot be Skyward Sword Zelda. She is dead and gone. We have no no more reason for we that. Know when we're going to talk more about Peach, right? Oh, yeah. Uh, next time on uh, Video Gaming Under the Influence. And we're going to fucking take out the fucking desert. Oh, man. Because we don't get enough of that already. Oh, yeah. Lives. Living living in fucking Southern California, we don't get enough desert. No. Yeah. Like, comment, subscribe, and stay nerdy. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Ow.